Hello, welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I hope everybody's doing well. This is the first uh, stop at the Goodwill on Buford Highway in Georgia. And as you can see, the store is basically empty. That's what you want, especially when you're filming. Yes. Now I went straight to the display uh, jewelry case. Didn't purchase anything. They had some cute brooches, but they were too modern. But, you know, it, nevertheless, it's good to look because sometimes you could be attracted to something uh, modern or costume, you know. Modern costume is what I'm trying to say. Just never know. So it's good to still take a look. But these display cases in the Goodwill in Georgia... Some years ago, it used to be majority vintage sterling. And you would have um, crowds of um, pe people who love jewelry or collectors hovered around the counters. We would be fighting for the lady to pass us something. It was like you were at a war at that display case. Not anymore. It's always empty now. <laughs> One day I may just pull out pieces that I got from the uh, Goodwills. Because I'm sure I remember because most of them are so special. That was gorgeous. I wish the top was there. I really loved that. I even went back to it later. But you need a top. I mean, what could you do with it without the top? And this is a brown end cap. That little chickadee wooden thing was still there. So I kept seeing a lot of things that were still there from last time I was there, which was like maybe two or three weeks ago. And so I was promising that that uh, Fosteria charger was still there. And it's Fosteria, that large glass charger that I saw that I left because of that little chip. It wasn't meant for me. Yeah. I said I would pick it up if it was still in there. Someone in the comments told me that it was Fosteria. And that's that pattern, that glass posterior pattern is to die for. If you could get your hands on a collection of that, it's amazing. Hold on to it. It's a quite, quite unique collection. They're hard to come by. Like I said, I've never seen any in the wild. There was quite a few um, Asian pieces in this store. That basket was cute. I have one similar. Otherwise, I would have purchased it. And I love that black lacquer. This is a black end cap. You see, the store's pretty much empty. It's just amazing. And the employees are so nice. Everyone says hello. I was only in there once, and they act, they act like they know me already. <laughs> I guess what they say, that's the lady who films, so. <laughs> that was gorgeous. I love uh, purchasing items like that, but I have quite a few, so I don't need any more. You know, you could put like your coins in there, like your pennies, your dimes, nickels, quarters. Those are good to collect. Those were gorgeous. If I had a space, they would have came with me. Those two were gorgeous. Mid-century cobalt blue iced tea glasses, uh, goblets. They were gorgeous. And sometimes you can purchase those and use them for your pens and pencils, but I already have some, so I don't need any more. I did put those in the cart, but I didn't purchase them. I was going to use them for my Easter display, but I was like, you know, why do I need to purchase that? Because I'm not going to keep it. And um, I'll just use my blue and white uh, table set that I have. That was a nice find, but it should have a top. That's a candy dish. 
And that was missing the top too. I believe that was missing the top also. That's the red and cap. I like how they have the color coordinated. That was gorgeous. That was a um, lampshade. That was beautiful. That was in vintage, but it's still done nice. I love how they have the fire extinguishers throughout the store. Case emergency. That's amazing. That's something that we didn't see years ago. That was a beautiful, like a Cambridge or maybe for Asteria. It was a vintage bell crystal. It was gorgeous. I should have maybe purchased that bell because that would have been a, a easy uh, flip. It was so cheap and pe people collect bells. That was cute. I don't know what that, what is that intended for that shoe? It's just like a little, I guess it's a trinket where you can put like your coins or your jewelry, I guess. And that was beautiful. Brand new, Ray Dunn. Beautiful. You know, I hate to see things like this because then I'm wishing I would have picked it up. But I don't, I'm, I don't need coasters. I have a set of coasters, quite a few. See, there's another Asian piece. It was quite a few Asian pieces. I would have gotten that had it been vintage. It's modern, got the modern sticker. And then this is a beautiful piece of pottery. With a piece of wheat on top. That was gorgeous. Beautiful. I believe that's a mid-century piece. But the bottom looks so new. I wasn't sure what was going on with it. That's the only reason why I left it. Oh. I hate when I see so many dolls in the thrift store. It's so sad that they don't have a home. And I would have grabbed that, but it was so light. So I assumed it came from like a Dollar Tree. You know, when you start putting your, touching these items, as soon as you touch it or pick it up, you can tell it's not vintage. Because vintage things are solid and they have weight. Those were beautiful. Those were beautiful. It was two of them, like little plaques, wall plaques. Those were gorgeous. They weren't vintage, otherwise I may have uh, purchased them. Those were cute little trinket boxes. This man, he purchased them. He had them in his cart. <laughs> that was nice. was a large pumpkin I ran across some beautiful Halloween decor if I had a storage I would I would have purchased them and stored them to the holidays because they had some really nice finds now those are quite pricey those mortars if you could find them purchase them and this was here from last time, too. Remember that beautiful platter? So, I saw so many things that were there the last time. I said, maybe that glass plate is there. But when I get to that section, it's not there. I didn't think it would be. That was cute, but the horse was missing. It should be a little spinning Cinderella or horse. I'm not sure. They had all these secret compartments. Never saw nothing like that, but it was modern. I mean, I'm not going to know. You know what? It wasn't modern. It was vintage. It was a uh, late vintage, though. Those were some chopsticks. 
another Asian piece. Think clean thoughts. When life gives you lemons, buy them, all them to buy one. I, I missed it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys caught it. Welcome. That was cute. They have such cute little signage things. You know, if you're moving into a new place, this, the, some of those signage would be really cute. So I thought that was vintage, but as soon as I touched it, I could tell it wasn't, but I still checked the bottom because it really looked mid-century. That was cute, a hanging star. I think you're supposed to put like pot puree in there, not a candle, but... <laughs> That was a Star Wars figure. R2-D2, I think. It was so filthy. My goodness. That was beautiful. I wanted to bring that home so bad. It's a cross and it was gorgeous. But it was cheaply made. It should have been heavier so it was not vintage. And this was a beautiful, you'd have to put like a chain to hang it. It was quite damaged though. And it looked like something was missing from the back or I wasn't sure what was going on with that piece. That was a modern piece. If that was uh, vintage, it would have been beautiful. If you're collecting cobalt blue, I saw quite a bit on this trip. So, I believe those were there the last time I was there too. But I didn't look at them, so this time I wanted to look at them. I like plates like that. Like, you know, someone made them and signed them all. It's like women who were traveling. It was beautiful. And of course, those are like reproductions from mid-century pieces. This was beautiful, but it was damaged. You had three nesting blue and white. Beautiful. That's that expensive stuff, but it's cracked. And I believe, was that German? I believe that's German. That was a great price. That was a beautiful find right there. And that was beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, I really was. Now I think of it, I should have purchased it because I could use it for my flowers. Because my last one broke and I totally forgot. I need a new one. I don't even know why I left that. That was gorgeous. I mean, the size was huge. I was trying to see if that was a vintage piece because some of that... Uh, Asian pottery with those fishes on it are quite expensive, but that was more of a modern uh, set. But I had to just, you really couldn't tell. It's like now that I'm filming and shopping, I don't focus as much. I, my, I guess my mind won't allow me to focus because I should have grabbed that green vase. That was beautiful. 
clean that real good and then put your uh, cut flowers in it. It will look so gorgeous. And I need one because mine's broke. I have another large vase, but it's holding my own. Um, my large spoons that I use when I'm cooking right by the stove. Yes. Oh, that's okay. I'll find another one. That was a nice collectible jug. I know the glass section and the mug section seem to be quite boring these days. It's pretty much nothing. I regret leaving those Cambridge uh, glasses the last time. I should have bought those home because they match my collection. Just, they look bit kind of strange, but maybe I should have just went into a different light. That was beautiful. So I spent so much time in that section because I was looking to see if those Cambridge wine glasses were still there, but they weren't. And this aisle had so many of the same items from the last time I was there. See those glass, that red, that right there, that was there the last time. So I would like to play some music for you instead of do, doing just a talk over throughout the whole video. But I'm not sure. It's like every time when I try to push that button, it messes me up. And then I have to start recording all over again. I need to Google that and figure that out. Because I know you wouldn't mind maybe listening to a little music. Those blue and white plates were there the last time. In fact, I think I had them in my cart, but I didn't purchase them. That was cute. I don't collect grease though, so. That was a beautiful platter. Beautiful. I would have purchased that, but I have one similar. That's beautiful. If you don't have one of those, try to pick one up. It's for your eggs. That crystal in there is gorgeous. I don't need two because I don't even have a place to store the first one. I have it on top of my cabinet over my stove. And this I purchased. It was beautiful. I never saw anything like that. It was hand painted. Uh, beautiful parrot swinging. And it has a back stamp. That's part of the haul. And this was a lovely set, lovely, lovely set, beautiful back stamp. And then I found random pieces of it throughout the store. So there's more, there's more to the set. It was a smaller platter and then I saw some mugs. Beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful back stamp, Indian tree. If they had a whole complete set of that flower pattern, I think I would have purchased it. When you're picking up uh, plates and bowls, be careful because sometimes people could use bowls for the, to feed their animals. So you have to be real careful with purchasing bowls. Um, normally when you have a complete set, I doubt it if someone used one for a, a pet, you know. But like these random bowls, you got to be careful picking them up. Unless you're going to use them for your trinkets. And I left these because I've had a lot of this stuff before. And uh, 
it really doesn't have any value and I never did anything with it but uh, donated so that salt and pepper shaker was still there right there to the right that was a nice candle I should have grabbed that like I said when I'm filming I'm not focusing too much on thrifting This was a beautiful um, piece. I believe that's mid-century. It was gorgeous. I don't need a yellow mug, you know, just one. So it was tough. I had left it, though. It was tough. But isn't that beautiful? Oh, man. They have such beautiful things at the thrift store. That's why we go. If you have the money, invest in the thrift store. I recommend, even if you could start selling out your garage or even your house. I used to sell out of my house when I had a big house because I had a room to store the stuff. This house that I live in now is too small, but I've always sold. I mean, these days you really can't invite people to the house, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, if you have a man in the house, that's fine. But, you know, years ago, people would just come to your house and purchase things all day, every day with no problem. No one never stole, nothing, no issues. That was a beautiful bottle. But if you have a, a large house, set up an area where you could sell things. I like those little glass Christmas trees. And I have quite a few. I should have grabbed it because I could sell that. People like to buy those. If that was vintage, man, that would be beautiful. It didn't have a price, but it was new in the pack. It was beautiful. I'm not sure what you call that section. Just like a catch-all. It was some of everything. Oh, I wanted to bring her home with her Christian outfit. I love dolls with Christian outfits, but... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I won't start picking up any dolls until I can start selling things, and I'll sell the ones I have, then I'll start picking some more up. <laughs> they really need to invest in some new shelves. Do you see how soiled the shelves are? Let's see the bottom shelf. Can't you just like paint that? I would just spray paint it, at least to make it look nice. And I haven't found any puzzles and I'm not mad because I don't need any more. So they've, they've been doing me a favor. <laughs> I don't need no more puzzles. I walked by my puzzles the other day. I'm like, when am I going to have time to do a puzzle? I miss my puzzles. I used to do them all day, every day. That was my life. I don't have time now. I'm doing videos. Beautiful giraffe. Beautiful elephant. And I didn't find his mate. And so that's Raggedy Andy. I didn't find Raggedy Ann. If she was there, I would have purchased the two of them. Yes. That was beautiful. And yes, that was a vintage one. It was not uh, modern. Ooh. 
wonder what happened to Andy. I mean, Ann. I, I was thinking maybe someone purchased Ann, like a younger person, and didn't realize it was two. You know, like younger kids don't know about Raggedy Ann and Andy. Then they had those beautiful Thai animals. <laughs> you know, I wanted to grab some, but I don't have anywhere to put them. That was gorgeous, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put him. And then this little penguin, oh, it was hard to leave him. Oh, he was adorable. Oh, no. Oh, no, I want to run back and get him. He was beautiful. You know, you know, I've always had large, large houses, and I was always able to keep all, you know, pick up whatever I want. Basement, attic, extra rooms. But like I said, you know, I moved in this house because it was near my son high school. And so this was what was available. So we had to take it. But it's quite small. <laughs> Everyone comes to visit. They don't be like, your house is not small. I said, okay, maybe not to you. But remember, I'm used to large houses with like an extra mother-in-law suite and extra bathrooms and rooms. So this is quite small. That was beautiful. I really don't purchase things for the porch here. Like the porches that I have here, the front and the back porch, there's not even room for like a table where you could like decorate, you know, which I'm used to doing. So I had to throw out all my outdoor furniture when I moved here. And I had some beautiful antique pieces, solid wood. In the back porch, you really can't put nothing out there because um, there's no overhead, so everything gets ruined. So when I moved in, I kept a few things back there. I had two rocking chairs. Remember that kangaroo from the last time? That's why I was showing it. Yeah, I had two beautiful uh, antique rocking chairs, but they got uh, destroyed from sitting um, outside with no shelter. You know, it's just you had the weather just attacking it all year round. So it um it uh, decayed, I guess. You know, over time, like the legs, you know, broke, and then I I glued it, and then the next time I said, let me just throw them out. Oh, it's disintegrated. That's what happened to it. Yeah, from the weather. So I I refused to purchase anything else. Now this was beautiful. Oh man, I thought I I hit the jackpot. I thought I hit the jackpot. I think it was twelve nine nine or seventeen nine nine. So I stopped filming so I could open it up and look. It was by a great designer. These are expensive bags, and you know I love my animal print. But once I opened it, it smelled horrible and it was disgusting inside. So I put it. I couldn't put close it fast enough and put it down. I felt like ooh. I, it most likely belonged to someone who was homeless. The, the people in the back should just throw something like that away. But, I, you know, sometimes you have homeless people, they need things like that. So, And if these were new, they would have went straight in the buggy, but they were too worn. And I wasn't looking at it to purchase it. I was just trying to see the tags so I could show you. That's, that's the vintage Ralph Lauren tags, yeah. That's a newer tag. Beautiful. Both of them are Ralph Lauren. I haven't been able to find any pillows that I like, which is weird. I normally find pillows to go because, like, I changed the pillows out on my um sectional couch. I keep, like, one or two pillows on there. And the two that I have, they've been on there for quite a while now. I might have to go to um Target. These were beautiful, but that's not my color of my living room. And don't be afraid to buy pillows. Just, you know, a lot of them have zippers. So you could wash the pillow and the pillowcase. And you would just soak it in bleach or Clorox too. So don't, you know, be discouraged by pillows. And I'm always going for the cheetah print.
So I was looking at that row of dresses and I was like, I'm going to be here for quite a while. So <laughs> what I did was to make it easy is I didn't um look at each one because that's what wears me down. So I just kind of, you'll see how I'm filming it. I didn't look at, I just kind of, whatever caught my eye, I kind of pulled out. And a lot of these sundresses I would purchase, but I have tons on top of tons of sundresses. I don't need any more. I don't never even wear the ones that I have. You know, when summer comes around, you put your winter clothes up and that was beautiful. But I have two almost similar. So it was hard, but I left it. But I love that type of style. That cotton, oh, just beautiful. And so when I pull out all my sundresses every summer, I never wear them all. I have so many. But when I got in the car, I was saying maybe I should have purchased that white sun sundress because now I'm going to need a lot of sundresses because I'm doing videos, so I have to change my outfit. So hopefully I'll get to use the sundresses this summer. You'll see them. I have quite the collection <laughs> of vintage sundresses i do not like no, no modern sundress i have a lot of ralph lauren i keep saying i'm gonna do a, a, a video showing my ralph lauren collection but i never get to it and that's just because all the summer stuff is put up and then i have to go digging and last time i went digging i pulled a muscle so i'm trying to prevent that Oh, I know maybe when I can do it, when the weather changes and I have to switch from winter to summer, then maybe I'll have everything out at that point and I might could do it. Well, I didn't purchase that. That was gorgeous. Oh, I think it wasn't my size. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That's cute. And I did uh, try that on. That was a beautiful embossed material was brand new with tags you can't beat it when you find something like that that was gorgeous see the embroidery on that oh it's just beautiful but it was too small it was a medium sometimes i could fit a medium and you know i was looking at it to see why was it still hanging there sometimes it has a rip or something but it didn't have any rip just needed a nice little steam. And it was just beautiful. Oh, beautiful embroidery. Whoever purchased that, they got blessed. I'm on the lookout. This is on my bucket list. A halter top with pants. I can't find one that I like. Or I don't know if it's going to fit. Yeah. So I would have purchased that. It was a beautiful, um, like a slip that you would wear around the house. But um, once I saw the design, I left it because I bought something from that designer before and it messes up in the wash. That was beautiful. That was there last time. I don't know why I keep leaving it. I love it. Oh, I think I know why I left it. I think the sleeves are kind of wide. Yeah. So Asian prints are kind of in style now. We, they have like the floral kind of on it, like the floral patterns. Uh, not this particular piece, but um, it's kind of in style right now. I 
That was cute. That reminded me of the candy stripers. Did they have candy stripers where you lived? Like, they were, my sister, my older sister, she was a candy striper. And that was her uniform. It was red and white, minus the flowers. I almost purchased that, but I, I knew I wouldn't wear it, so I left it. Because that's not my style. I'm more conservative with sundresses. I mostly like solid colored sundresses, unless it's vintage. With that vintage um, pattern, then that's different. And ladies, if you're going to the Goodwill and you plan on looking at the uh, clothes aisle, bring you at least $100 because you're going to find quite the spread. I mean, they have such beautiful, most of these pieces are brand new with tags on them. See that type of style it kind of has like that Asian look. Yeah, those are real popular right now. I don't know why I even left that. That was gorgeous. It maybe wasn't my size or something, but uh, there's a reason why I left it. Or like I said, I don't focus right when I'm filming. <laughs> that was too cute. Oh, if that was strawberries, I would have purchased it. But I'm not really into roses too much. Mm. I'm not against it, but with the polka dot, that was just too much for me. But I love how you have the, the uh, roses on the bottom gathered together. I like that type of style. See, it was hard for me to leave it, but I did. And I did purchase some clothes. I don't know if it was from this store or... I went to several stores, but it's in the hall. I thought that was Ralph Lauren, but it wasn't. Because you see that wool sweater? Ralph Lauren make wool sweaters like that. I have one just like it. So I thought that was it, but it wasn't. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't because I already have one or two and I don't need a third one. <laughs> so. Y'all look like Picasso. See, those are reproductions. It's not even vintage. And then there was another row of dresses. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I was exhausted. Like, my, my hands and my arm was paining me <laughs> i went and sat down for a while but you don't see it because i turned the camera off but i just couldn't do it again but man they have such beautiful dresses like i could buy like 20 of those dresses and <laughs> gorgeous so I, that now that i'm doing good well, normally if i go to a thrift store i will buy quite a few things but since I'm doing thrifting videos, I have to stretch the money out because I want to, I, I don't want to go to the, the store and can't purchase something just to make a video. So if I use all my money up in this store, then I won't be able to go to another store. So I have to be very, very picky. And then also because it's a small house, I don't have room for a whole lot. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And even if you're not subscribing and you're still watching, you're still supporting my channel. I'm so grateful. Yes. But I'm really trying to get to 500. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, no. Why did I leave her? She was gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, was it my size? All right, that's what. <laughs> okay, I feel better now. I just thought I didn't. I didn't purchase her. That is beautiful. Cute little split. Cute, 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 cute.
this store really doesn't have a, a, a linen section. That's like my favorite section. They have like Ralph Lauren towels or sheets. I've gotten beautiful uh, Ralph Lauren sheet sets from the thrift stores, like brand new condition. You know, you have like rich people, they donate stuff like that. And we was in the linen section where the pillows were, and they had hardly no linens. It was just empty. And it's a small section, too. Looked like the same shoes was there from the last time. And that's probably because winter is almost over. I'm sure everybody got their winter boots already. Those were the same shoes, the men, men's shoes as well. I try not to film people, you know, if I don't have to. And this little section, uh, I, I, I couldn't, those shoes would not stand. Those were beautiful though, weren't they? They wouldn't stand. <laughs> And I hate to make a racket, you know, because I finally got the shoe. <laughs> and they fall again. And I think at some point I just give up. <laughs> so imagine somebody trying to walk in those shoes. Woo! They don't have much support. Those are cute. Those were there from the last time. But those are two. I wanted to get those for my daughter. That's why I double check. They're too small. They're size seven. I mean, six and a half. She's a seven and a half or an eight. But I wanted to double check because those are clocks. And they run a couple hundred bucks. At least a hundred and change. I should I should uh, focus on other shoes too. I shouldn't just focus on the uh, animal print. But those are my favorite. Those were cute. But I have some similar... So I put on my big girl pill and I left them. <laughs> Those are cute. I have some similar, but mine's are more have a more vintage look to them. And this section is um tough for me because I have a thing for uh vintage shirts. Like I have a thing. Especially Ralph Lauren, the Tommy Hill figure. It's tough for me. So I, I, I try not to even go in this section anymore. As you see, I'm in an extra, extra large because I can't buy anything extra, extra large. So <laughs> that's, that's my st tactics on not purchasing something. Just go to the large section. And this that shirt was there the last time. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, man, I want to purchase this so bad. It's beautiful. It's a large too, my size. But I know I don't need it. That's why I left it. It's gorgeous. I love it. I like to wear those. You could tie them up and turn it into like a cowgirl style or a cowboy style. You know, it seems like when I post a, a Goodwill video, I get so many views um, and new subscribers. And I understand why, man. Goodwill, they got it going on, man. They have beautiful vintage. And it's so funny now because everybody loves vintage now. Okay, so when I left the, I made a trip to this Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar Tree. Because I was looking for some, um, well, it's not important, but they didn't have it anyway. And I love corn nuts, but I like the uh, spicy ones, the picante. So they were out, but I found them a little ways down. I was a little disappointed they didn't have them because they're my favorite. And I never go to Dollar Tree. Very rare. So when I'm in there, I always try to grab a bag. They ha oh, there it goes. I found it. See the chili picante. If you haven't tried them, pick up a bag. You will be addicted. <laughs> they are delicious. 
And this is like the little healthy section. They got cranberries, apples. They have everything. Pretzels, fruit snacks, peanuts. They have some really cute little snacks right here in this section. Sunflower kernels, sunflower seeds. I don't eat Slim Jims anymore. I used to love them, but you know, it's is it pork or beef? I think it's a combination, yeah. And then they have more of the, and I never tried this brand, Mexican street corn. And I've had Mexican street corn in New York, but I don't know if I would like that. Maybe I'll try them next time. Then I saw the barbecue ones. I like those too. So I swapped out because I don't want a whole lot of snacks because it makes my stomach bloated. So I got one of each. I'm proud of myself for doing that because normally I'll just get like four bags. And when you open that bag of corn nuts, you can't stop eating them. I try to make it into two snacks. It's really difficult to do it. And these are delicious, but I said I have enough snacks, so I left them. Those pretzel sticks, they're so tasty. This section I shouldn't be in. And as you can see, I did not grab a cart. You don't want to, if you grab a cart, you'll start purchasing a lot of things. And I wasn't out to shop for myself. I was supposed to be um, doing, uh, uh, you know, supporting my channel, making videos. And so since I went to this store looking for one specific item, why not film? And they had such nice stuff. Whole car section right there to the left. I didn't like the employees in here. They were not helpful at all. But I don't live in this area. See, where I live, the customer service is A++++. And that's what I'm spoiled by that. Like, they cater to you and kiss the ground you walk on when you walk through the door. So, um, we don't have a Dollar Tree where I live. So, you know, I asked the lady, did they have something? And she said, oh, it's over in the garden section. And I'm like, oh, you can't walk me to the section and show me where it's at? Because obviously I don't see it. That's why I'm asking you. I know what section it's in. And uh, she said, well, if you didn't see it, it's not there because we have stacks of boxes in the back. And all the garden stuff was put out early this morning or yesterday, she said. And I looked at her like she was just, hmm. You know, if you don't like your job, you should leave and, and, and go somewhere else. Because when you work in a place like this, if someone asks you for something, you should walk them to the aisle and, and, and find it for them. And then once they get it, then you could leave and continue what you were doing. I'm not going to report her, though. I, I don't report people in these type of jobs because um they need their jobs. You know, I don't want to, unless someone was disrespectful to me, that's different, but she wasn't disrespectful. She just didn't uh, use her customer service wisely. But to all my subscribers, when you have issues with people in stores like this, don't make complaints. They will fight them ASAP. They don't care about their employees if they come or go. And um, like I said, uh, they need their jobs. So just try to overlook it. I remember once they had a nice Valentine selection. I remember once I was in a supermarket and I had uh was tasting a grape and one of the employees came up to me and literally cursed me out okay this is the salvation army now we switch stores now this is the furniture section this was a beautiful lamp i like how they embedded the rocks in there but the base was so modern and tacky 
I love the shade. And then the shade was broken. Otherwise, I would have purchased it just for that shade, but it was um, it was destroyed. I tell that story another time because I got to talk about the furniture pieces. This was a gorgeous dining set. You see it had the extra leaf. It was beautiful. And so the cart wouldn't go, so I just left the cart. Nice canopy bed. Nice chest of drawer. Beautiful roll-up desk. I used to have something similar, but mine's was not from that period. It was a different period. I believe that's... Well, let me see it from the side. Because I know I showed the side. Yeah, that's mid-century. That would be a reproduction desk. That was gorgeous. That chest of drawer. Beautiful um, hardware on it. Now this store is so inexpensive, but their their furniture they're quite pricey. That was a cute little hall bench. Forty nine dollars. They have way too many things. You can barely walk through, but I guess they want to sell every piece. So they got it all stocked up and sit out for you to see. I couldn't even show that because it was, first of all, they had it turned around the wrong way. I used to have quite a few of those. Queen Anne, those are called like couch tables. Gee, that one was gorgeous. You see that inlay on the top? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man, I wanted that one with that shell design in the front. I wanted that so bad. I used to have quite a few of those, but when I moved here, I had to get rid of them. There's nowhere for, no room for any of that here. That's a gorgeous country set. And I couldn't even show you that because you see it's too close together. That was a beautiful folk art piece, that black with the paint. I can barely show you the country table. And that was a cute uh, table. It was two. That's a country style. Cute. That was beautiful. That coffee table. Oh, breathtaking. That was a cute mirror piece. I think they had 50 on it. 99. Wow. This lady was asking the man, could he discount it for that lady in pink right there? But the, the guy who set it out, he said, no, I just set it out. I can't discount it. I just He just set it out. That's why he was standing there. Those were cute. Those three chairs to the right. That's bar, bar stools. I back up and show them to you. They were so vintage and so adorable. I don't have a bar counter here, so I can't purchase something like that. That's beautiful. Those wooden bar stools are quite expensive if you purchasing those new so if you could pick them up at the thrift store go ahead and i did pick up some birds out of this store but somehow i didn't come to the house i don't i think the checkout guy kept left them at the counter some kind of way or i left them in the cart but they're not here Oh, this is the Salvation Army on uh, Marietta Street in Atlanta. This was too cute. And I think I'm going to the jewelry section. Yes. 
And my friend works at the counter. Well, he's not a friend. I just know him from from the store. He's been working there a while. Because, you know, they change these Salvation Army guys out. They put them to work. And then they, uh, you know, they put them in apartments. And then they ship them off. Then they bring new people in. They had cute, quite a few cute pieces. But I didn't purchase them because it was things that I didn't need. I did buy a few. You'll see it in the haul. That was beautiful. I contemplated, but I left it. Now I wish I would have purchased it. Oh, no. Did I actually leave that beautiful ceramic? <laughs> I went through all the trouble to take it down, but I didn't. You know, I think I forgot about it because I set it there. It took, like, uh, a good three minutes for somebody to come help me at the jury case because I pulled out a few things out the display case. Yes, yeah, so I meant to purchase it. I totally forgot about it. That was nice. I was trying to see if it was sterling. It was coral, but it, and I didn't have my purse, so I left my loop in my purse. That was a cute piece. All this jewelry right here in this same location used to be all... 99 cents. I'm sorry, my phone's ringing. Where is it? Oh. Every piece of jewelry used to be 99 cents. Sterling, gold, it didn't matter. <laughs> it's a couple stores like that back in the days. Now you see what I found? Spotted hidden in the back. Blue Bird of Happiness for $1.99, 2002. It didn't come to the house. I don't know. I guess the cashier didn't put it in my bag. I've been trying to call the store. It just rings and rings and rings, but the store was packed, so I'm sure they're quite busy. I don't think it, it won't be there tomorrow. It was. I, I purchased three birds, and none of them made it to my haul. I thought they were maybe in the car, but I checked. There's no more bags there, so I don't know what happened. I didn't stop anywhere. I didn't meet anybody, so. I love how the Salvation Army color codes their things. It, it makes it so much easier to look at because you, you really can't miss anything because you can kind of see everything because of the color so bold. I put those in the cart. Every time I see them, I always just throw them in the cart, but I didn't buy them. It wasn't what I was looking for. And that's the other little bird I bought. Isn't that beautiful for $1.99? It's like a pie bird, but it's not. Just that it reminds me of a pie bird because the mouth is open. That was too gorgeous, too cute. Well, it winds up in the cart, but it didn't come to my house. This store was quite uh, crowded, so I had to kind of maneuver around. It wasn't like packed, packed, but it was quite a lot of people.
I'm sorry I was moving a little fast, but I got I was trying to get out the way because like I said it was quite a few people there. Those were plastic. I thought they were glass. A Christmas sleigh. That was plastic too. It fooled me. It looked like vintage glass. That was sweet. You get kind of dizzy in here because there's so many aisles and you're so excited you don't know which way to turn. <laughs> that was a gorgeous piece right there. Taiwan. Mm That was beautiful. A porcelain antique lampshade. Oh, it was gorgeous. Milk glass. I was looking at it to see if it would fit one of my own, um, you know, antiques, but I wasn't sure, so I left it. Because one of my vases broke one time. My son, somehow he knocked down the shower curtain and it broke all my own, um, whatever was sitting on my own. Um, little shelf i did grab that ivory i love it from japan but i didn't find the other one so i didn't i, I left that and so i have a um antique candlestick holder without the lampshade but i can't remember which lampshade fits it so i don't you know you can't purchase stuff maybe i should have purchased that was fitz and floyd that's a christmas plate i believe i have it or i had it That was nice. That was nice. Crystal and silver. And those were gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Salvation Army tends to have nice um items. They get some uh, really nice donations. I struggle over some of the pieces because I want to bring them home. That was beautiful. Mm. Gorgeous. I forget the name of that pattern. It's a um, swirl. Beautiful. That was beautiful too. That goblet is by Hull. USA. That's beautiful. If you collect that pattern, they had quite the collection. So I feel happy for whoever collected who wound up in that store because that made their day that was a beautiful little vessel vessel yeah, that was beautiful pottery and then there was another pot parade which i put in the cart which i didn't purchase i just wasn't really uh feeling well, I definitely didn't need the pine thing because winter's pretty much over. And these were beautiful, but they're missing the tops because that would have went straight in the buggy. Nutmeg is by um, Chavaskia. I'm not saying it right. It's a Russian designer. Well, city rather. I think they call it check. Yeah. That was beautiful too. 
something was missing because it's a little display thing next to it where you have to see what's or maybe you just put a candle there that was beautiful now you know i wanted to bring that and then i found another one too <laughs> the other one was green in color so i thought about going back to get that one but you see all those hall pieces they had quite a few i thought about going back to get that one and have the set but i don't need it you see my um mid-century uh, video on my glass so that was gorgeous that's a uh Japan vintage ginger jar to die for two ninety nine. Oh man, that was hard to leave. I wanted to purchase that piece so bad. There's nowhere to put it, and I don't know if like I can't just. I don't know what my subscribers will want to buy, so I can't just pick up everything. I just if I see something that I that I know that people will like, then I'll go ahead and purchase it. That was a beautiful, beautiful. And so was that. See those cherries? Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. That was a showstopper. And then I got stuck in this little section with this little drummer guy. I was trying to find out who made it because I'd never seen nothing like that. But I was trying to see if it was modern or vintage. You know, when you're at these stores, even if you're not interested in purchasing something, still look. Because then you can get an idea of things. That's how you learn and how you uh, grow even more. It was from Pottery Barn. I guess you put your cake on me? I'm not sure. That was a beautiful find. I left it. I already have a lot of soap dishes that I don't use, but I don't have one like that. Now I wish I just purchased it. I could have put it in the windowsill or the back bathroom. Now I thought I had a fine right here because I've seen these before. And I know they're sterling, but I wanted to double check. And that's a beautiful uh, um, etched glass. And yes, you got the mark right there. It says sterling. And that's like sterling weights, so it can it doesn't tumble over. I was so excited. All they need is a polishing. Them things polish up so beautifully. I was going to flip those and sell them. But then look at that one. It's all busted open. <laughs> so, I mean, that's an easy repair. But I didn't want to bother, so I just left them. But that was be Then I was thinking about, I mean, I was contemplating about just buying that one. And I said, no, I'm going to leave them because I want somebody to purchase the set. At that point, I was trying to see if it was worth purchasing just for the sterling, the weight of the sterling. But it wasn't because it has it gives you the uh, pounds of it right on the bottom. And you see all the people, right? It was quite crowded. Everybody was in heaven. And this beauty right here, oh, I wanted to buy it so bad, but it had a chip. And I would have found the spot for that, because these are hard to come by, and they are gorgeous, but they're always chipped. I'm going to show you the chip. And this was a beautiful butter dish. It's not vintage, though. And so I, they had it upside down, so I put it the way it should go. That's for a big block of butter. I guess you could use that for cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I was contemplating. I really wanted it. I was trying to see if it had a signature, but I already know it's modern. Oh, man. And so I went. I go back to that fruit thing because I really wanted it, but this is the chip. You see it? Man. <sighs> Okay, so say you wanted, you really wanted to purchase that piece, just go right ahead. You can just sand that chip down and then just paint over it to match the color. But, um, you know, that's your choice if you really wanted to purchase it. And this section here was packed. I could barely move. That was a gorgeous vintage Hawaiian coaster set. It was beautiful. But I don't believe it was Bakelite. It was too thin. Bakelite is never thin. 
and this was gorgeous that's a miniature and I would have purchased it but I already have several globes so you saw my copper one I have a couple more I've been seeing a lot of those baskets they're gorgeous if you can get your hands on a nice condition one uh, purchase it they're nice That was gorgeous too. That was a Christmas piece. Had those punch setters. I didn't even really want to dig in here, but I couldn't go anywhere. I was stuck, so I just decided to start digging. But as you see, as I look up, the lady, it was two buggies there. They left. Yeah. That was a beautiful rooster. Oh, no, 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 this isn't where I was stuck. That's right, it's a little further down where I get stuck, where I couldn't move. I, I don't purchase any more towels because um I don't have anywhere to put them. I don't even have room for the ones that I um put. These were cute little bobbleheads. Not sure who makes those. I didn't even check. That was cute, a homemade piece. I'm going to purchase one of those homemade stuffed animals. I just got to find the right one. Kind of wish I would have grabbed that. Was it a bunny or a teddy bee a while back? I really liked it when I left it. And this is a cute little couple. Uh, wooden. But it's I think that's from like Dollar Tree or something. It's cute though. Pilgrims. I think this is when I get stuck, so I just took advantage and just filmed what I could get to without moving. That was beautiful. I don't even know why I didn't purchase it. Beautiful. And I wanted that. I had one before and I sold it. It's silver plate, but look at the inside's damaged, so I just left it. I always say if I find one in the wild, I'm going to buy it because I hate that I sold my other one. I think that's by, um, what's the name of that company? Um, I can't think of it. It's a, a company that specializes in silver and silver plate. So I finally was able to back up and go around her because the people behind me moved. This is the action uh, section. Everybody was trying to get to it. There's a million and one knickknacks and toiletries and stuff. Now, this is quite a long video, so, um, you know, if you get restless, just come back to it. Or try, if, you, if you're if you not going to finish watching to the end, please let the video run. Thank you so much. I put that in the cart, but it was too small. It's a um a cooking smock vintage and it looked interesting but it was just too small like maybe it was made for a, a child I'm not sure but it was gorgeous I love going to stores where everything is um, stocked. Like they had stuff everywhere, you know. Can't go wrong. Now, this pumpkin right here was beautiful. I tell you, I saw some beautiful Halloween items. Um, I believe someone actually made this piece. They wanted $10. It was beautiful. I 
If I had a place to store, I would have stored. And then there's some more on top. Look at her. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, man, that's beautiful. And that lady there with the red coat. <laughs> she, I guess she didn't think she would see things she liked, so she didn't have a cart. But lo and behold, I saw her next time she had a cart full of stuff. I said, well, you wouldn't got a cart. She said, yes, I found one finally. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I don't have a cart because you really don't think you're going to find anything. But that's when you always find things that you least expect is when you don't have a cart. So now I always grab a cart if I, could, if I remember or if I can. Because sometimes you can't even get a cart. Yeah. So that little egg didn't make it in my hole either. That little egg and my birds, I don't know what happened to them. I think the cashier kept them. Sometimes cashiers, they keep small things. They stick it in their pockets and stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's horrible. <laughs> but it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. I just hope that they didn't charge me for it. I have to check my receipt. <laughs> and that's another bird that I purchased. So it was the three birds. That one, the two blue birds. And that little egg, it didn't, and I forgot about the egg until just now and I saw it. It didn't, I don't know where it's at. That one was cheaply made. It looked like someone just painted that red, like a, a two-year-old painted it. It was a sloppy job. Maybe it came from like Dollar General or something, Family Dollar. I'm not sure. I love how they have the color coded. So easy to, to see. So she still didn't get her cart. She gets her cart later on. <laughs> I didn't really uh, talk to anybody on this, this day. For some reason, everybody was so busy shopping, you know. This was beautiful. Wedgwood, I believe. Let me see the thing. Yeah, Wedgwood. Wasn't that gorgeous? Got that Greek symbol on it. If it was a whole set, it would have went straight in the cart because that is expensive. It was either Wedgwood or Linux, but Linux does make Wedgwood too. Well, they have a pattern called Wedgwood. I can't remember if that was Linux or what. I think it was Wedgwood, yeah. She was cute, wasn't she? And their prices are amazing. So I have a set of these. It comes with a, a, a plate underneath. But mine says sterling. These didn't say sterling. So I wasn't sure what was going on with that. But they look just like mine. You You'll see them. Eventually, I'll use them in a tablescape or something. That was gorgeous. That's that chalkware. That was a beautiful trinket. That was gorgeous, too. And in fact, there was two of them. Yeah, there's the other one right there, the little vase. This section caught my attention. They have some really beautiful items. It's a beautiful uh, pineapple picture frame in the back. You see that? That was mid-century style. That was gorgeous. Some beautiful hardware. I have tons. Oh, I need to do a video on my hardware. Yeah. If anybody's interesting, interested in that, let me know. Uh, that little chester, that, that little chest that I have by my desk when I do my jewelry, I showed it once. Oh, these andorons were beautiful. But I only have one fireplace in this house, and I've had andorons inside, so I couldn't purchase them $5.99 a piece. You go to the antique shop, they'd be wanting like 150 just for one. I mean, those were beautiful.
can't purchase everything you see. Those were hard to leave behind. But anyway, I have a, tons of hardware, like uh, antique, Victorian, brass, you know, all type of stuff. I contemplated on that because those are quite expensive, but I think that was not vintage. They make it look vintage. And I would have purchased her if she wasn't chipped because I could easily sell her. Uh, please subscribe so when I get to 500, I'll start selling things. And I know you want to buy some things, so please subscribe. Those were beautiful. Those black angels. Oh, the girl and the boy. It was a um, hobbyist project. She was too cute. That was a Victorian porcelain. And this little doll was beautiful. I loved her outfit. Two dollars. That was a deal of a steal. I put her up top so somebody could see her and give her a home. Wasn't she gorgeous? Oh, I mean, of course, that's not her clothes, but they tried to dress her. And see, those were hobby pieces, but whoever made them did a beautiful job. Wow, gorgeous. I didn't look at that little angel right there. I just moved her to the side. And that when something catches your eye, you tend to do that. So that that caught my eye. I thought that was a um well, what's the name of that designer? Royal Dalton. I think that was a Royal Dalton piece. She had a beautiful dress on. It's like a Barbie, a, a large oversized Barbie. It's beautiful. 